with Lanier Lawn Care and I have been asked the difference between the SRM 225 and the SRM 230 weed eaters. Uh, there is a hundred dollar price difference in the two. Is it worth it to you? We'll find out. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> what this is going to boil down to is three main things uh, one of them is going to be your fuel capacity two is going to be your swath of how wide your string is going to cut for you um, without bogging your engine down and the third one is going to be power so of course the power and the swath have they go together. So the 225 is a great, great weed eater for, for 200 bucks. Um, if all you're planning on is just weed eating, uh, small lines and edging here and there, and you don't have to need that wide swath, you don't care going over things a couple of times. Um, it has a foam handle, which is, it's real nice. It's got the I-30 start system, which is, excellent as well um, i love the way it starts my wife is is literally 110 pounds she can start this weed eater without any issues uh, the 230 is a little bit harder for her to start it has the standard starting system on it it does not have the i30 but you know what this one's lighter a little bit lighter um, so this is the one she usually goes for if she goes to help out around the line and then of course I always grab the 230 anymore regardless of what I'm doing. The 230 is always in my hands. It's the number one weed eater I will take, period, hands down, no matter where I'm going. So <clears throat> your engine on the uh, 225 is going to be a 21.2 cc engine to where on your SRM 230 you've got a 22.8 cc engine. So there's a little bit of difference there. Um, not much, but once again, when it comes down to you being in tall grass and trying to get the stuff taken care of and knocked down, you're truly going to notice the power that the 230 puts out over the 225. Uh, Durability-wise, they're both durable. Uh, the 225 seems a little bit more flimsy to me. It seems a little flimsier built, uh, like more cheaper, shall I say. Um, but it has done a great job. It has held up for a little over a year now, so I can't complain about that. Now, when you put the 230 in your hands, it feels and looks like a commercial weed eater. Um, it holds up like a commercial weed eater also. Uh, this thing, I, I've dropped it accidentally, um, but you know, I mean, the thing didn't do nothing to it. I don't even think it put a scratch on it, but uh, this thing is, is totally awesome when it comes right down to it. The 230, in my opinion, was well worth the uh, extra hundred dollars to get. Now, uh, your shaft lengths on both of these are going to be 59 inches, so the shafts are the exact same. Uh, your 225 has a starting system uh, your pull start back here is an I-30 starting system, so it's real easy to pull, like real easy to pull. To where the 230 has the standard starting system, it's not that easy to pull by any means. Um, it is very easy to pull, just not as easy as the I-30 starting system is. Uh, both have the Speed Feed 400 heads on. If you have not tried the Speed Feed heads, look into it, guys. It's the best thing on the market. Uh, that I've seen when it comes to changing out your line string and having to pull the head off on your steel weed eater, it's just time consuming. 
go get you a speed feed. Uh, the things are awesome and you can load your string within probably a minute, minute and a half tops. So <coughs> your cutting swath on both of these with the guard on them is 17 inches. Now before I did this video I got the string out as far as it would go and then I cut it back to where the engines were not bogging at all. They were running very smooth to let you know what you can get out of these with the guards off. The 225, you're gonna get about 19 inches. So you're gonna gain a couple inches with the guard being off. To where the 230, you're gonna get up to about, I'm right at 22 is what I measured. It's, it's a little over 21 and a half. Uh, so I mean, you're gonna gain what, five inches just off of, you know, taking the guard off of this thing to where, this one you're only going to gain a couple. So that's where you, your big difference in your CCs, you can really notice the power difference in them. Uh, both of them have the standard, they come standard with the shields on there. Uh, so I, personally, the shields didn't really bother me, um, but I find it a lot easier without the shields. So next is your drive shaft. The drive shaft on both of these are a four layer cable. So there's no difference in the drive shaft of either one of these. The nylon string I use is, uh, I personally love, it's in the back of my truck, but I personally, personally would recommend anyone trying the Crossfire line. I love their line. I've tried many different types of lines and I tried the Crossfire and I love it, absolutely love it. I don't have to change my string as much when I'm, when I'm weed eating around chain link fences or edging with my trimmer. I just love this stuff. It does not consume as fast as other strings out there. Now the dry weight of these, uh, the 225 with the guard on is 12 pounds and without the guard it's 11.1 .1. so the 230 is 12.2 with the guard and 11.3 without the guard uh, both of them anything you buy echo is going to come with a five-year consumer warranty and a uh, two-year commercial warranty so whenever you buy them make sure you go online and register your products if you ever think about trying to get anything warranty uh, through Echo. So is it worth it to you guys now is the question you have to ask to spend the extra hundred dollars. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody that wanted to see this. Um, there's your answers on everything from engine displacement to durability and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.